road and like people piggybacking another person's success or only being relevant because they were involved with certain motherfuckers. So I just want to show motherfuckers like I never really needed no other nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I just did what I thought was the best for my situation in my life at the time when I signed to him. You know what I'm saying? So like I didn't I never needed no backing. Um what he did for my career as far as putting me in rooms that I wouldn't have got to on my own that early year, he did that. But as far as like my talent and my potential and the heat that I produce out of my body, I ain't need no nigga for that. So this last run, I just was shooting for my own notoriety and for motherfuckers to understand that I was pressing how I press because this how I press, not because of nobody else. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> no cap, huh? Uh, no cap. No cap, huh? Hey, hey. Well, they could definitely feel it, man. And, uh, uh, you know, I always tell people anyway, it's all right to copy a cat as long as you're copying the right cat. Yeah. You know, a, a lot of times, you know, when we growing up in these streets, uh, we wind up copying cats that's going to send us to the penitentiary. Yeah. You know, we get with people that uh, they may mean us well, but they don't know what to show us. True story. True you know, story. And, and, and for him to open them doors for you uh, is a good thing. Because, you know, most brothers won't even give you a hand because they'd be more worried about just trying to hold the life for themselves the whole yeah. time. Yeah. So, um, uh, um, I appreciate him doing that for you. Yeah, no cap. I always and I already know. That. Did you, huh? I, said, you I, always, I, always, I always tell a motherfucker that, man. I, I, never, I never act like I'm not appreciative of the, uh, the boost that he gave me, you know what I'm saying, just for being around him and, and, and you know what I'm saying, meeting motherfuckers and, and the goddamn... Uh, Some people don't even let you meet nobody. They be like, oh, yeah. man, don't get that phone yeah. number. Don't no get cap. no phone numbers when you with me. No cap. You, you no know cap. how they do it. Yeah, yeah, no no bullshit. So, yeah, just just being able to meet who I met through him and, you, you know what I'm saying, seeing bigger stages and, and grander arenas that I wouldn't have seen as early as in my career on my own that I did from with him. I always tell a motherfucker I was appreciative of that. You know what I'm saying? That shit, you can't take that type of shit back. But like you say, it's, it, it, ain't, it ain't about how a motherfucker do or what they doing for you. It's the shit that they don't show you, too. You know what I'm saying? It's the shit that they don't do, too. You feel me? For real. Right. It, it, could be, it could be arterial motors. You know what I'm saying? The common goal don't be the same common goal. You know what I'm saying? The same interests may seem like they going in the same direction, but they not for real. So, you know. All is all is um all is fair and, and love and ends well. Have you say that shit? You know, nobody's <laughs> dwelling on it. Hey, me? well, you know when you the man, you say whatever you want to say. Yeah, I ain't tripping on no shit. Uh, and if they good. don't understand, yeah, if they don't understand. That's on them. Yeah, that's on them. No bullshit. Hey, now, how how is this new success transcending? You know your lifestyle. You know uh, uh, how is it affecting you? You know, cause 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 I I, I see the streets all in you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I see the hood everywhere, and 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 I know that it ain't gonna stay like that because everybody gonna be coming at you now with your new success. Uh, yeah. uh, the paper gonna be right. I mean, just everything's gonna be just the way you right. want it, what you had always worked for. And and how how do you feel about that? <clears throat> I mean, I try to um, hear me to be able to know me uh, from a mile away. They, and they're going to do that. Mm -hmm. One thing about it, uh, you're going to be at U.S. in Stone now. The way you've been on them billboard charts. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I, you know, this, this is my first year um, really charting and doing stuff like that, like being on billboard and having them top spots. So, yeah, I, now, I, I, now, I ain't used to it yet. Now, I, I'm going to ask you this question, and I don't know if I should ask you or not. Did you try to get on the billboard? Was you shooting for Billboard or was you just shooting for something for the hood? I was I was shooting for um with with this with this last last run I, I went on, I was shooting for trying to make it into a craft and shit. I, I I went with it. So that's when you that's when you had figured out that you could make it in this game. Yeah. And it came to you. Yeah, yeah. Once I made my first once I made my first five hundred dollars on music, I ain't I wasn't looking for shit else. I ain't look nowhere else. What was something hit you when you made that first five hundred? Something said, "Man, you you own to something." I had shit. I had been rapping for like fucking like three years, and I hadn't made no money. And that was the first time I made some money. I was like, "Hello, yeah, I'm, it's yeah, we can go this way with it." Cause 
I had been rapping, look, man, I had been rapping for like three years, hadn't made no money. And then it was niggas that was around me that had been rapping for like five, six years and hadn't made no money. So when I made my, my first money in three years, I was like, I'm on I'm doing something right. Yeah. Doing, you see what I'm saying? And then yeah. it just it went from there. Like, like I remember first, when, when I first got home, you know, I, I tried to get into the rap. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and I had a few artists I was working with. And we just had to pay to do shows, sell tickets. Uh, uh, you don't know nothing about that, do you? They didn't no, make but I, no, but I know that shit exists. I know it's, I, I didn't have my rough ways with it. Like, I used to get booked for shows. Nigga pay me like $150, $200. I mean, I'm performing at Erotic City. You feel me? On, on a motherfucking Thursday. And it's fucking, it's 15, 20 people in that bitch. And I'm acting like it's 500 people in there. I'm sweating <laughs> hard. And, you feel me? And the motherfucking chef coming from behind the counter and getting my autograph. Like, yeah, like, this is my early, early, early days. Like, I done, I done performed outside at, like, little art shows, little art convention shits. Like, all types. I did uh, fashion shows. I'm, you feel me? On the run, runway, all that shit. I, I, went, I went through the rigor with this shit. You feel me? And that was, like, oh. You feel me? I took everything that came with it. Like, it was cold. Yeah. Because, you know, most artists, they looking for Warner Brothers, a universal one of them to come up in there and, 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 and throw them a big old check. I ain't care about none of that. You guys, I wouldn't, I never, I was used to having no bunch of cheese at all. So once I became a consistent $500 nigga, I was like, bitch, oh, yeah, it's on. I could buy my little <laughs> weed. I can get my little cheap lean or whatever I fuck with right now. You feel me? And then yeah. once the five hundred dollar nigga turned to a consistent thousand dollar nigga, yeah, you couldn't really, you could tell me shit, you could tell me nothing because I, I know I used, to, I came from always asking niggas to hold forty dollars and, and feel me, let me get a couple dollars and you know what I'm saying, like yeah, I, so yeah, once I made some money for real, I, I, I put my oil into the shit. No doubt, no doubt. Now, now tell me this here, who came up with your name? That's my real name. Your your mom named you that. My name my 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 technically my daddy named me because I'm a junior. My dad name is Casada. My name Casada. So my dad name is Boobop, You feel me? And I say that shit in a couple songs like Boobop son the wrong way. You feel me? But my my nickname was Sada Baby. Like that's what motherfuckers was calling me, but way before I was rapping. You know what I'm saying? That's just my nickname, Sada Baby. And then. It's so unique, I, though. That's yeah, a, I, I feel like I ain't. I feel like I ain't need to come up with like you feel me, like Superman's the sensei or no shit like that. You feel me, or like nigga, right. the, the, the young, young, young Chopper Sparker. Like no, like I, I thought my name, my nickname was cool enough for it, so I just left it there. And like the the Scuba Steve and shit came from, honestly, came from doing Molly. I, mean, I used to fuck with Molly. So for some odd reason, I used to when I when I used to talk to Molly, I used to think I talked to Scuba Steve, and I got Scuba Steve from the Adam Sandler movie, Big Daddy. Mm -hmm. So okay. to this day, to this day, motherfuckers either call me Sada or School. Well, I know I know your mom and dad is glad that you kept the name they gave you. Yes, yeah, for real, my daddy for sure. Yeah, motherfuckers <laughs> calling motherfuckers calling me Papa Sada. You feel me? All that type of shit. He be Man. on my Instagram. Hey, like, motherfuckers know my daddy. <laughs> I heard you wanted to be a chef at one time. Man, you was yeah. about culinary arts school. I did. I was I was enrolled in um school crap. This is it's a uh, college year I was supposed to go. You feel me? And the year I was supposed to go, that's when my rap shit took off. So I never went. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, now you got a unique flow. You know your your flow is unique. Yeah. I, ain't never I, I, I work at that. Now, 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 the beats and stuff is Detroit. Mm -hmm. You know, with that. Y'all yeah. move. I can't do that shit. I can't do that shit. But <laughs> I like it. You know, when I used to come to Detroit, you know, I got booked there for a few parties. And, and I would come there and book. Uh, 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 shout out to Big 50 down there. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, she threw me my first uh, birthday party down there in, in, in Detroit when, when I got out. And, Bingo. Uh, they They was... You know, doing that fast, that fast music like y'all. Yeah, do. you know, they, we speed the tempo up. We speed the tempo up with a lot of shit, but a lot of our regular music come fast too. That's just the tempo we used to. 
uh, motherfuckers jitting and the feet work shit. You know that shit from here to Chicago. So yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Congratulations too on hitting them for a Billboard charts, man. Uh, almost like it. own, it's almost like you own that motherfucker. I appreciate it. You know, I got to get one of the ones, man. When I get one of the ones on the chart, we going to celebrate. No doubt. You're going to do that. You're going to do that because you know what? Your heart is in the right place and, and you're making the music that comes from your heart and you're not trying to be like everybody else that's out there. You know, it, it's crazy how everybody want to be like whoever is selling the records at the time and they right. copying it out with uh. It looked like you just took your thing and carved your own lane out of that thing, man. You yeah. just dug in and, and say, you that's know what, what this one up. That's what we are, man. It's too much it's too much shit out here for a nigga not to be original. Too much shit out here, man. I got I got it. I, I ain't I'm at the top of my bag. We ain't even got in there for real. So I'm man, we just I'm having fun with this shit. Did you having fun? And that's I'm when you, and that's when you shit. make the best anything that you do is when you having fun, you know. Uh when when we first started this pandemic, you know, this so much like being in jail, man, I regretted it, but I knew it was necessary, so I went on and went with it. Uh, but now that I've been here for a while and I'm starting to thrive at doing it, and, and that's how I came up with the idea to do what I'm doing right now, you know, yeah. sit down and talk to people who, who, who had to find their own way, who had to make their yeah. own way, you know, and, and I thought it was so important that uh, – that you, you come on and show other people how you did it, and 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 because it, it's important that other other youngsters know what they got to do. You know what they might yeah, go yeah. through. When you out here, you don't know what you got to go through. Then you might go for anything. Hell yeah, no cap, no cap, no cap. Bro. I, you know I appreciate you reaching out, man. I, I ain't gonna never uh, uh, not jump the chance to fuck with a legend. You know you the goat. Oh, you already know, man. And, you know, you and, go. and I hope, uh, uh, you know, in the near future, we be able to do some work together. And yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, especially if you come to L.A., you know, you know, I got a dispensary license now. So. No, we'll be out there. We, I gotta go to um, I gotta go to Texas. Well, so. you know, when you come when you come to Cali, you don't buy weed. All the time, I always go to Cali. I always buy the weed. No, do you don't buy no more though? What is free for you? <laughs> I'm on you my way. Hey, I'm you on my way. I got you. I got you. I'm on my way, Unc. And, and you know what? I'm I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a favor from you too. Whatever. You know, one of your homeboys is going to the Olympics this year. Straight up. Joe Hicks, boxer. Okay, no, I ain't no no better. If he win the goal, yeah. If he win the goal, I need you to throw him a party. All right. If he come back with that gold, Listen, if he, you, if you he gonna get do a that gold medal, If he get a gold medal, the apes are going to throw him a party. Ah, my man, no my man. If he, if he get the gold, the apes are going to throw him a party. If he get the gold, you you, you heard that. Y'all heard that. Joe, you heard him. Um, get that for you, boy. We're going to throw him a party. Hey, we're going to throw him two of them bitches. We're going to go to Mandy's Day and Annex. Ooh, we. Yeah, he got to go, go through the hood. And my cousin <laughs> Blaze, boy, bitch, not. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta go 